And the reason why I waited to post this was because I was scared of my command. I didn't know what they were going to do if I reported them or if I posted this video because this is the absolute truth. Um, Y'all, I have to meet with the commander today. I was told this at 4 o'clock p.m. I wasn't on base. I was in an appointment. So it's like I didn't have time to get my uniform together. Let me show you guys my uniform. Wrong rank. I need an extra ribbon. I don't have my tie. Got my shoes. No socks. And I have to meet with him at 11 o'clock. It is 7.22. Bro, what the? Oh, my God. I am, I am so nervous. It's like, what is he? My bun. Like, come on now. It's like, what is he possibly going to say? So, look, I applied for separation. You guys know this from my last video. What the fuck? I applied for separation. And it's like, either, well, I can't be in trouble because I would have had to meet with the first shirt. So, Okay. I mean, you know, I do make TikTok videos in my uniform, but it's not bad, not bad. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, so I think the only thing he could talk to me about is my separation because I just got from mater I just came back from maternity leave, and I applied for separation. So either he's gonna try to convince me to stay in, or he probably has some good, well, some good news like, hey, we can move you down to California while you're still in service. Perfect. That'll be like the best news ever. Or he could be like. We're low manned in the Air Force. We cannot separate you. Bruh, like, I need to be separated. I mean, I have a year left, but um, I'm so scared, you guys. I don't know. I'm about to get me some oatmeal because my nerves is bad. That's not why I'm making the oatmeal, but I just need to eat something and get to work. I don't know how this is going to work. It's like my schedule is all off. Oh, my God. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so my bun keeps doing this weird twisting thing. I have to meet with him at 11 and it's 8.53 and I'm like looking at what I need to put on my blues. So I have these three. I just need this one. So I have to go to the store and get this, some socks, my tie, and my hat. Yeah, something's wrong with my bun, but I paid for my uniform to get the right rank and I have to buy my hat and that bar I was showing you guys. Let's see if I can find it. You're like, what is this? This is all the ranks and stuff like that. See, that's for blues. OCP is what I'm wearing. And yeah, this is just like all the ranks. All right, you guys, I found it. So it doesn't come with the thing I had to purchase. The thing that goes on it. Okay, don't look at my nails. I just took my Okay, so I got everything in here. I got my socks, my ribbon rack, my ribbon. Everything I need to go on my blues in here. I'm just gonna stop and get me some Starbucks because I'm a little stressed out. So, I ordered um, a Ferrero Rocher Frappuccino, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So, this bun, I'm just going to take it down, because look at it. Anyways, um, so, I put my, my ribbon rack up here. Um, I think I just have to fix this. It has to be a little higher, I'm guessing. But... Starbucks. Yeah. People literally tell you what to do every day. It is 10.04. So apparently I got the wrong hat. I'm going to show you guys what hat I got. This is just like too much. And this is one of the reasons why I am getting out the military because it's just always something. I got this hat because I thought it was so cute. You know, it's bedazzled and stuff, but no, can't have any bedazzles. This is actually for officers. I didn't even know that. Um, this is really good. So we're about to head to go get me or I'll exchange the hat for a new one. And um, I also need to get a belt. So my belt buckle fell off my belt and I don't know where it is. But when I bought it into the office, I know for a fact. What are you looking at? I know for a fact that it was on my belt. So I have to be ready by 10.30. It's 10.05. I still have to pump. You guys know I'm a, pump, a breastfeeding mother. I always talk about this. I'm always pumping. I need to calm down because I am starting to like freak out a little bit. Because not only did I not know that I had to meet with the commander. My supervisor is going with me. And then our, um, our senior master sergeant is coming too. So it's just like usually the more people that go the more trouble you're in and i'm like i didn't do anything to be in trouble because i just got off just got out of my off of maternity leave 
Um, and all I do is make videos for TikTok regarding the military. So I don't know if I said something bad or anything like that. Um, but I am a social media influencer. So I'm getting out anyways. Uh, so whatever happens, happens. If it's bad to where they're going to demote me, I'm getting out anyways. Like I just, I can't, I can't deal with this stuff. Um, for these type of reasons it's, it's, it's ridiculous to me um, but if it's good news it's great um, if we're talking about why I'm getting out great just please I don't want to be in trouble um, I'm past all the doing the dumb stuff you know as an airman I was demoted if you guys didn't well you guys didn't know but I'm telling you guys now I was demoted last time I seen the commander not this commander but the previous commander so going to see another commander on my blues again it's it has me wondering like am I about to be demoted what is going on um, no one's telling me anything why I have to go. Last time I went to see the commander, I knew why I was going. Because, you know, I broke a couple rules. <sighs> yeah, this whole military thing is just not for me. I can't adapt to it. Like, I tried it for three years. It's done for me. Job is super easy. I need to get back so I can pump and change. But, you know, you can't drive fast on base. And it's hot in this car. <laughs> Those are the jets going by. espresso in here because I just I'm nervous you know maybe not a good idea to have espresso when you're nervous because then it makes you times 10 nervous more nervous times 10 yeah sometimes I say my words backwards I don't know why <laughs> I'm sorry you I'm just like nervous once again and I just need to make it to this store so I can exchange this hat like hurry up because I feel like I'm running out of time no I'm not I'm here not turning the car off what am i doing come on you guys let's go let's change this it cannot be this kind because this is for officers does it say officers no it does not say officers anyways it has to be this kind this is big let's see this one will do let's go see if i can exchange it i want these papers for this cap Anyways, I got the cap. Now I need to just hurry up and go pump and go change. You guys, I totally forgot a freaking belt. Oh my god. This is what happens when you're nervous. I have to go back in there. And it's 10:15. I have to be ready by 10:40. Got my belt. I can't believe I forgot it. Okay, it is 10:15. By the time I'm done pumping and get the dress, I will have to go for the better. You guys, wish me luck. You guys just do not understand the amount of nervous I am right now. I need to stop being nervous because who cares, right? Who cares? I'm getting out in a month and whatever happens, happens. Leave me alone. Like, you ever just feel like somebody's bothering you but no one's there? And you just want to say, leave me alone, but you can't say, leave me alone to just know what I'm gonna go back and pump and change and I will come back when I am in my blues so you guys can look me over and tell me if I look good or not. Better tell me I look good. It's this bun, like it's just automatically going to the side. This is not okay. Oh my God, okay, let me fix Okay. There we go. Sir, Evan Riley reports his order. Sir, Evan Riley reports his order. Sir, Evan Riley reports his order. It's all good, all good. I'll let you guys know what they say. You guys will not believe why I had to go see the commander. I'm about to change and we're gonna talk about this. And I'm about to tell you right now. So, you guys see my other videos and if you know me and you follow me on Instagram, you know that my pregnancy was literally the worst pregnancy that I have ever, they, the doctors have ever seen on base. Okay, so I got a letter of reprimand, an LOR, because they said the doctors was giving me medication that would alleviate hyperemesis gravidarum, HG, 
you cannot alleviate hyperemesis gravity or anyways they said they were giving medication to alleviate my symptoms my symptoms didn't go away so i was missing work purposely so i wasn't taking the medication and i was missing work on purpose to further explain what exactly happened with the situation so there was this doctor my HE symptoms he wasn't really accepting the fact that i had hyperemesis um, so he was telling me exactly how I should be feeling and just to take the medication, just do it. And I'm like, I'm doing it, but it's coming back up. So it's not staying down. So we kind of like got into a, a little argument about how I should feel while I'm pregnant because you're, you've never been pregnant before. You're not a woman. Um, and that's just facts. I was going to say no offense, but you, you can't tell a woman how to feel during her pregnancy, especially if you haven't felt it before. You haven't gone through it. I understand that you work with these females, you know, that are pregnant, but my case was the worst case that anyone has ever seen. So for you to tell me to just do things that I, my body physically cannot do, you know, it made me feel some type of way. So I told, I reported him because I felt like I was forced to do something that I wasn't physically capable of doing. And because I told on him, he retaliated by telling my command that I refused to take my medication. So yeah, that's how I, that's the situation. Because I didn't want to be there. Y'all, I was like, I wanted to say, what the, so bad. I wanted to just give him a piece of my mind, but I'm like, you know what? I'm separating and if I say anything, if I walk out of here or if I say anything, that is going to prevent me from either separating with honorable discharge or it's just gonna stir up some more, you know, some more stuff. So I'm just salute, leave out. He didn't even like let me explain. He didn't ask me, so why weren't you taking your medication? He just said, well, on this day, or uh, you were giving medication to alleviate your symptoms of having a medical diagnosis. You know, it's something with the Air Force. You have to take care of your health, blah blah blah. Which I get, but dude, how am I supposed to take medication if it's coming up? Taking my medication, it goes down. It comes right back up. So. Are you telling me that me throwing up my medication counts as me not taking it? Like, I even asked for a refill on my prescription because I w I've been taking it, but I'm running out and it's, it's coming up. I'm trying. Who wants to live with hyperemesis gravidarum? That is a serious medical condition. I almost died. Like, are you serious? You're going to sit here and tell me that? Like, that... Woo! Makes me so mad. Guys... I really thought me and my child was not going to make it out alive. If you guys to tell me that I sat here and not took my medication because I did not want to go to work, it's the dumbest, the most dumbest thing that you could possibly say to me. I almost died. Like, shit. All right, I'm a bad girl. I'm getting out the military. Hey, I can't deal with this. Like, the doctors were even telling me this is the worst case we've seen i had ivs going into my system giving me the medication that i needed because i couldn't ingest it i had a feeding tube in my nose like you guys you it's on my youtube like i had a feeding tube down my nose it's on my facebook it's everywhere i've survived what was one of the most deadliest pregnancy conditions that you could possibly get only two percent of women get that i fought every day for me and my child to be here and i know it's just an lor but it's like this is the stuff that this is stuff that me as a woman i have to go through in the military besides sexual assault or being talked down to in the military over my pregnancy y'all don't get pregnant in the military like i thought by getting pregnant in the military i would have benefits for me and my child you know um will be well taken care of like i even before getting pregnant i even looked it up you can get pregnant in the military you know get maternity leave that's why all this stuff is in place but really like don't have kids in the military i just strongly suggest that because no i thought the air force would take care of you and they would be on your side and you know help you navigate through life they're family oriented because it seems like it they're family oriented they want you to go home and see your family they want you to be with your family have daycares like they have all this stuff set up in place for you and your family but when it comes down to the nitty-gritty they really don't give a fuck like and i'm sorry to be cussing but i'm just really upset like i'm gonna say this one more time for you to tell me that i pretty much was playing around with my pregnancy because i just didn't want to be at work it's fucking bullshit like i sat there fighting for my life in the hospital that I did not want to be in. You can ask all the doctors that are there. 
Like, dude, what the fuck? Anyways, I'm headed to this golf course to go call the ADC to go talk to them about the letter of reprimand that I got. Like, honestly, when I was in there, I thought I was going to get some really good news. Like, Riley, you know, you're separating. I got some advice for you. I was smiling and everything. And when he said that, I was like, what? Are you serious? Like, that's why I'm in here. That's why you pulled me up in here. Because I had hyperemesis and gravidem and couldn't keep my medication down. Purposely? Who gets hyperemesis and gravidem purposely? Nobody. I'm going to have to call the ADC and see what they say before I even call my doctor that I was dealing with. Because she was, like, she was there with me every step of the way. She gave me medication. She seen me throw the medication up. So I'm going to call the ADC. I'm going to see what they say before I do anything else. Before I even post this video, before I do anything else. And I'm going to update you guys. Okay, so I'm calmed down now. Um, I talked to the ADC. Um, and I talked to my doctor, you know, that I had. That was there with me the whole time I was pregnant um, and watched me project out, vomit the um, the medication back up. So she's going to write her statement. I'm going to show my pictures and videos and write my statement. And I just hope this all goes away because why would I have a month left of working in the Air Force? You decide that you want to give me an LOR for my pregnancy I, like that happened four months ago. You know, I gave birth four months ago, um, and yeah, that just hurts my feelings because hyperemesis gravidarum is serious. Like, I'm like I said, only two percent of women go through that, and like, it's just nothing to play with, nothing to play about. Why would I purposely miss work to sit in the hospital refusing medication? Like, I'd rather be at work making time fly go by. So it just, it really bothers me. It doesn't make any sense to me. It definitely caught me off guard, but I'm in a better space now where I can like, <laughs> you know, get all my documentation together and attack this situation because this is definitely alarming. It is confusing and worrisome. I just hope that if you're in the military and you're pregnant, you do not have hyperemesis gravidarum because they will trip out about you. This is a man's sport. And it sucks to say that. The Air Force is a man's sport. And I don't actually mean sport, but like job, like area. It's like, gotta be a single airman. Can't have no kids, can't be pregnant. No feminine stuff going on. Like, I also want to be a better airman, but I don't have the opportunities to be that. It just seems like they're against me. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on what's to come from this. Yeah, thanks for watching my video. And I just have to document this because this is the stuff that really happens in the Air Force. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, I don't care about you liking this video. This is very informational. Just know that this stuff happens in the Air Force. Um, leave a comment down below. Come on, HG mamas out there, just keep going strong. I swear, like, I think I need to come up with some type of support group for women in the military that have high premises gravidarium because this is not cool at all. So the medication that they were talked about, I didn't take, or I, would, I refused to take, was called Compazine. Compazine caused me to be caused me to be temporarily paralyzed from the jaw down while I was pregnant with my child. Um, I had the doctors okay to not take Compazine. She told me to not take Compazine in her own words and on paper. Do not continue taking Compazine. ADC just helped me write my rebuttal. You okay? Uh, they didn't really help me with the situation. The rebuttal still got denied. Um, and I found out that they were actually going to dishonorably discharge me for this situation. So after talking to my senior, she told me that the first decision was to dishon dishonorably discharge me, which I thought was very extreme for this type of situation because I was not lying. I was not joking. I literally had... A medical condition that caused me to vomit up everything that I have taken, no matter what it was. Water, vomit, food, vomit, medication, anything that went down my esophagus came right back up. Um, and I had ND tubes in me. Uh, my veins were completely blown out. Like, I, I was just so dehydrated. I was, not, I was not kidding about this situation. I was not purposely trying to take off of work because I was pregnant. 
I actually wanted to be at work. There were times where I was going to work, but I was vomiting so bad, I was passing out on the floor at work. And they were sending me to the emergency room. My leadership was. So for you to, you know, anyway, situation is done. I am out the Air Force, so thankful. Yeah, um, that was just an update for what happened. Thank you for watching my video. And it sucks that this had to happen to me, a black female airman in the military that was pregnant at the time. Um, I definitely felt like I was targeted and that was discrimination, whether that be race, whether that be because I was female or because I was pregnant. So America Riley, out the military. This was my last military video. Peace, wish me luck.